Veterans Day is celebrated every year on November 11th. It is a day to acknowledge and show our appreciation to veterans. Through the VFW Post 10721, local veterans in Eagle County have been able to share their story and message to others in the community. My family was excited for the opportunity that the service was going to provide, but it was right as the Iraq War was kicking off um, uh, back in Desert Storm time frame. And so I think they were a little bit apprehensive, obviously, um, not wanting their daughter to be in a, um, in a wartime situation. I always wanted to be a pilot and, and be a jet jockey, and, um, but then when I found out as tall as I am and uh, uh, wearing glasses and so on, that wasn't going to be because I won't fit in the cockpit of most airplanes. Um, so eventually I started looking at other avenues and it was always the military of one form or another. As I was thumbing through college application catalogs in my junior and senior years of high school, I discovered this institution called the U.S. Coast Guard Academy and that really intrigued me. It was strictly based on competitive academics and activities. So I said this could be the right thing. It, nothing, no harm in trying. My dad would rather have had me in the Air Force he said, Harv, the Army lives in the dirt and the mud. What are you doing? And I said, well, I can't fly airplanes because of my glasses, so I'm, I'm going to go to the Army where at least I can jump out of them. I think the, um, uh, the physical training was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Like, I kind of went into it prepped. Like, okay, I, I can do push-ups, I can do sit-ups, I can run. You know, I, like, I just bring it on, um, but the physical part of it wasn't probably nearly as hard as um, just the overall orientation to the military and the military environment. You just don't know necessarily what you're going to get into until you, until you, until you get to boot camp. Um, so yeah, there's always a little homesickness and, and yearning for, for home, but at the same time it was a, a whole new chapter, and so it's also kind of a, an adventure looking forward. Well, managing time, and when there were so many obligations, both military and academically and so forth, it was time management. Uh, you had to be up at 6.10 and uh, ready to have a full day of academics and military training all lumped together until 10 o'clock taps. I was not in shape, so that was the hardest part of basic, was just um, getting myself up to speed. but. Yeah, the hardest training I went through by far was ranger school. One of the most difficult ones is, is if, if you had a difference of opinion um, from someone who is higher ranking, uh, to, not, to not argue with them um, every single time. I mean, all of us, we get to that point where we're like, I know better, I'm smarter than this person, that type of deal. Um, it doesn't go over very well if you're insubordinate. We then uh, transited the Pacific Ocean and spent 10 months in the Vietnam waters, including some intense warfare that we encountered in the first two months we were there during the Tet Offensive in 1968. And it really set the stage for uh, high intensity year in that combat zone. When I went in, I was uh, five foot five and 104 pounds. So I was very, very small. Uh, there was only two other people smaller than me. So um, just gaining, gaining weight to be able to carry a 50 pound rucksack and march 20, 30 miles was, was challenging. The wall was still in place. And so you had the East, East and West Germany and you could only get so close, especially flying. Um, you can only get so close. I was actually in the front seat of a, of a helicopter that we had just repaired and we were going back out to the field and uh, as we're flying down to the area that we were at we were close to the, 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 the limit of where we could get to the wall um, and a uh, Russian hind started flying parallel to us and the hind was their, their version of the huge powerful fighting military helicopter and as we were flying and doing some some maneuvers and the pilot was doing some maneuvers the hind was doing the same thing but then while we were flying we watched the the hind lose tail rotor effectiveness so he lost his tail rotor um, it quit working and so they started going into a crash and they we actually watched them go down and the pilot was calling it in 
through our channels, and of course, then they, but then they're talking to a, a country that theoretically we're in the middle of a Cold War with, and we, co we couldn't do anything. Um, and we watched them crash, and all we could do was call it in, and we couldn't go to the rescue. If we would have done it, you know, it would have been an international incident because we're crossing international boundaries. All the time, um, especially in the military, there's a lot of high stress environment and you're, you're put through a lot of stressful times. So uh, when there's down times, you're always trying to joke with each other, um, pull pranks on each other, uh, different things to where just to make people laugh, whether it's uh, they're walking below you and you take a five gallon bucket to dump water on them as they're walking by, um, you know, mess with their uniform a little bit um, so that their uh, their chevrons are upside down or something like that and they don't even notice it so any way you can get a laugh out of each other is just it lightens the the environment the people you care most about are the people on your left and your right in combat and so in in situations in combat units you develop those same kind of uh, feelings of camaraderie. A great sense of teamwork and camaraderie when we were focused on um, achieving a goal together. Um, even though we came from different places and different backgrounds, um, it was really rewarding to um, just rally around what needed to get done. Very strong, um, almost unbreakable bonds that you have because you've all been there, you've all done it together, you've all seen everything. Um, and, it's, uh, and it's one where we all understand each other. It's, uh, you know, it's a life of service. On Veterans Day, citizens pay tribute to those who have served our country. Although every veteran is unique, many share the same principles of hard work, discipline, and camaraderie. Every day we live in freedom and security because of our veterans. I'm part of a very small percentage of Americans that, um, you know, you kind of, you, you see this and it almost seems like cliche, but it's, uh, it's an oath that I took that doesn't ever expire, um, and I still believe in that. Um, and it's an oath that basically says that uh, I'm willing to do anything for the United States, um, up to and willing to give my life uh, for the principles. I encourage people to ask questions because veterans are, to a large extent, a humble cross-section of America who are not inclined to go around waving a flag or shouting out that I'm a veteran, but also enthusiastically welcome the opportunity to share their stories. For me, being a veteran really is, um, it's being a part of a really amazing community of people. Um, I feel like when I meet a veteran that uh, we automatically have a bind. Um, we're connected in some way regardless of what our differences are or um, you know, what our roles are in life now. I mean, we automatically um, are comrades. I would say that uh, coming back from Vietnam the, uh, or, or Desert Storm, um, there never should have been any difference between the two. What everybody needs to understand is that soldiers go to war, um, because their politicians send them. You join the service to, to serve your country. Politicians are the ones who make war. Soldiers just execute. And there, I don't know of a single soldier that I've ever met who wants to go to war. For all the active duty military now, as well as those, those who came before, um, never take it for granted because it is those who have died or those who have served who actually make sure that you have the right to disagree with me and argue with me or debate with me or debate with each other but never forget that it was it was them who were willing to step up and make, and, and guarantee those rights to be a veteran to me means that i have i have serve my country and uh, more than that um, served we the people because we the people are our country.